hey guys in this video I'm going to show you how to take a real good capture from this view from your landscape with a lot of grasses on it actually this is kind of weird it's so empty um, so there are some problems that I've encountered with but I could solve them and since I hadn't found them on the internet actually I found them definitely on the internet but it wasn't really obvious like in a video being explained on YouTube or something something easy I want that something easy for you guys so uh, I'm going to explain it today so first of all for um, we want something clean something high quality so first of all what we are going to do is go to the edit plugins movie yeah, what is <laughs> movie run the queue and enable these two um, these are related to the new high quality cinematic um, rendering engine for Unreal Engine 4 so this is really cool after that we want some sequencer to use uh, you have these two options here I'd personally like to use this one at level sequence and save it as it is um, we have a sequencer here and add a camera yeah so I don't like this option because it adds this um, creepy black screens to the side of the screen so I really don't like it um, you have all the options here though you can add um, some keyframes using these keys here I'm sure you know this all so I'm not going over it you can uh, find if you don't know how to do it you can find a lot of videos explaining these kind of animations so I'm just going to animate a little bit of a transform here to show you what the actual problem is yeah so we have this scene here now it's time to render it out so go to the movie actually you have two options here this is like the movie scene capture is the um, real-time capture this is exactly what you see here it's so fast it's just uh, it's it's not that high quality but it's good if you have a really good um, scene optimized well you can use that as well I'm not um, it's just a pr preference for yourself uh, go to the movie render queue and it, this is the old one that I had here so I'm going to uh, disable it I have this one enabled so go to the unsaved config spe specify the output um, I want it to be 30 frames per second uh, hit the plus icon uh, anti-aliasing anti overwrite anti-aliasing I really like temporal AA um, oh yeah so uh, let me show you what the problem what the actual problem is so look look how it looks oh, why is it gone yeah this is not the grass we had in our project uh, then it comes dude what are you doing uh, yeah these are the pop-ups pop-up problems that the um, movie render queue might have so it was driving me crazy actually I had a lot of problems with it I couldn't find what I had been looking for and then I found this video on the internet he couldn't actually replicate the problem so he didn't know what the problem is actually but someone in the comment section had a solution for it actually there are two solutions so I'm not going to um, explain this all to you I'm just here to show you how you can get around the problem so first solution that he offers is go to settings game overrides and disable use LOD zero so it will use the LODs that you have specified in your game accept it and then magic happens look there are grass in here but when it gets higher the grass uh, will it will do its job it will use some other LODs to save the performance this is what this is not what we want in our you know cinematic video so here comes the second solution which he recommend not using it uh, but anyways we're going to use it so just copy the this code here uh, foliage dot max triangles to render and uh, just remember to check this one back console variables so I found it 
uh, for this one you need to have a really high number just let's try this one to see if it works oh uh, no it's it doesn't work it doesn't render the gr grasses so we need to get even higher I don't know maybe two more zeros let's see yeah it works see with no LEDs, cinematic quality, it's like a real piece. So this is it, guys. This is what I wanted to show you, and uh, it 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 looks really cool, actually. So so if you go to the, mm, it comes as images. So what you can do is just go to the Premiere Pro and then file import and import them as an image sequence just remember to check this one out and then then you have it I just rendered once one um, I didn't render one frame just like No, this is yeah, I'm sorry. This is the new one. So it's four frames. Yeah, we have the video here and everything looks cool. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it would be helpful for you guys. And if you did, please hit that like button. Cheers.